Hi, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and this week we're going to be doing some more decluttering. Surprise, surprise. Um, I have already gone through and I've decluttered my shoes, my sunglasses, my bags, my makeup and my nail stuff. I have, I think, spoke about in every video that our lease is ending here soon and I'm trying to space out my purge so I don't number one regret getting rid of anything and number two sort of get to that point in the purge where you just want to throw everything out <laughs> so i've been sort of doing it slowly and by category and this week i want to tackle this space behind me this is my art nook that also doubles as my desk for my monday through friday job and it's really messy i'll show you in a second it's really uninspiring when i first built it everything had a place it was it was fun to be at. I did all of my art here all of my sort of brainstorming for videos everything happened here and over the last couple of months it's just become a dumping ground for everything like all of my stuff chris has his own office space but it's just sort of become a dumping ground so i want to clean it up and take the opportunity to go ahead and get rid of some stuff as well um, and then also make a space where I feel inspired again. So let's get to it. <laughs> so here is the space in all of its very messy glory. Everything did used to have a place, but you know, I've just kind of let it go. So my plan is to take everything out, spread it out, sort of purge out what I don't want, and then reorganize it. So enjoy this little clearing out montage. the mess I made. I've sort of gone through it and here is what I am gonna donate. I'm gonna get rid of it but it's not really trash at all. Still has paint in it or pretty full. I just am not using them anymore. In this bag is a bunch of pens and just painting supplies, scissors and stuff I'm gonna donate as well. calligraphy pens, yarn, a balloon pump. I used this on a project, um, a palette knife project. I wanted to use a huge palette knife, so it's a cake cutter, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And now I am going to put all this stuff back and get rid of anything else that I may have missed. I'm gonna organize it. So enjoy this montage.
decluttered and everything put away. I hope <laughs> that you can tell a difference. I got rid of a whole garbage bag full of stuff. I'm gonna be taking it to Goodwill and also throwing some stuff out that was just a little crusty for real. But I will give you a little tour now. So this shelf is from Ikea. I don't love it. You can actually see that it's leaning just a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. But yes, it leans, it's not my favorite, but I can still link it down below as well as any of the other Ikea things. I can't link all of my supplies, it's just too much. Just go to Michael's and lose your mind one day and you'll have what I have. <laughs> so up top, I have my paint sets. I have them labeled so I can get to them easy. This is a watercolor set. This is charcoal set. This is an easel that actually goes with the not an easel. This is like the thing you mix your paint on that goes with the easel that I'm getting rid of. But I actually really like this, so I'm gonna keep it. My little watering can for plants. Another little mixy thing. This just has glue and different cords and stuff in it. A piggy bank glossier box that I think is cute and I like to transport my glossier perfume in it if I take it anywhere. So I like to hold on to the box. Painting it. A Prada Marfa sign I did. This is a fake little um, string of pearls. So this little pegboard is actually from Ikea as well as all of the little containers and the cups and the shelf and all of the hooks. In here, she has like some erasers, pencil sharpener. This is a camera cover for your laptop. Some electric tape and then the, that's the labels to go inside of the label maker measuring tape, liquid gold, some art supplies in there, pens, pencils, brushes, scissors, some more art supplies. This is for clay, rolling out clay and doing different things with clay. Mod Podge, this is a glaze. I've just got different <laughs> goals and lists and things to remember. This is an AirPods case, some tape, some more tape. But your paper, I get this from Ikea. It's in the kids section for like $5 and it goes on forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Down here is my cutting mat. If I am doing something, I do it on top of here so I don't ruin the desk. This is my work laptop, my personal laptop, my work monitor. And then down here I have my little dry erase board. And basically I do like quick little notes on here when I'm working, things I need to remember really quickly, not to waste any paper. And it just wipes away. <laughs> this is holding the marker stand that I had over here previously. I got rid of the markers, but I really like the stand, so I'm gonna hold on to them for the future. I got this riser. <laughs> in a dumpster dive at the office. Someone was getting rid of it and I thought it was perfect. It can go higher, but this is basically what's anchoring the tabletop to the calyx. This is my paper cutter. I've got some poster boards back here. My really big clipboard and I think my smaller one is behind it, yep. <laughs> Down here I've got a tub of clay. These are the beads I use when I for my waist beads, and this is what I use when I'm doing embroidery projects, just some notebooks. Down here, that's just miscellaneous supplies in, in this bad boy, and then right here, it's all my Crayola stuff. This is my folder that holds all of my stickers and my scratch paper that I write notes on in my Poshmark packages, as well as a file folder. All the important stuff, all of our manuals and warranties and stuff like that are in there. Okay, so I got everything decluttered and sort of reorganized just a little bit. I already feel the weight lifted off of me because I knew that I had to do this for so long and I was putting it off for so long. So I'm happy that it's done. I already feel a little bit more inspired, so, so that's good. Um, it didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to. It only took me about an hour and a half. I was really expecting it to take much longer, but Here's the space. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, as I always say, if you made it this far, go ahead and subscribe. If you like videos like this, go ahead and give me a like. And if you know anybody who likes videos like this, go ahead and share. 
I'm gonna go enjoy my weekend now and not think about decluttering a thing because we've gotten really far, made a lot of progress, but I will see you next week. Bye.